Hey guys, this is Flashroom Double Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Event. So, first off, I'm going to head off back to Figaro uh, City, and I'll meet you guys there, hopefully. Alright, we're at the Relic Shop now. I want to buy one more amulet, because the amulet is really important, now, and I'll meet you back to Kolingan, if I could speak any sooner. But whatever, you want to equip everyone with an amulet right now because this next area will zombify you. And of course, the amulet prevents zombifying party members. So of course, you will be protected. Alright, nothing much there. We want to remove the Venom Claws from Seven because, well, these enemies absorb poison and, you know, I don't want to forget later on and wonder why the hell they're actually healing but whatever a new enemy here moose they have no elemental weakness and well nothing more to say but they're very 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 weak just mash at them and they're pretty much dead yeah okay moving on to Daryl's tomb if I can actually get through these random battles come on man Jeez, another moose. I'll just leave this one in since it's really, really short. Not even worth my time. 47 EXP points. Wow. Again. Okay. A new enemy here. Marchosius. They are weak to win, so if you have Savin's Gill Cut, use it. Of course you have Savin's Gill Cut, but just use it, and you'll see why. There we go. Finally got right, 1972, wow. Thinking of a little reference there, but whatever. And Seven learned Imp, sweet. Okay, continuing on to Gerald's Tomb. So yeah, if you came here earlier, you couldn't gain access here because Setzer was in your party, but... Well, let's just say, now that he's in our party, yeah, and she's something else, we can now enter Gerald's Tomb, yeah. Wow. You actually create a tomb for your friends? You must have really loved her. I mean, you go through all that effort. Don't take me wrong, viewers, but really, you have to be in love with her. But whatever. So first off, just go straight on the first basement and on to the second one. And I'll explain more after this battle. New, new enemies here. X-rays. They're weak to fire and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Fire and Holy. And they can zombify you. Which in turn is not good because the zombie stats effect turns into a zombie or, you know, pretty much kills you and puts you against your own party. Which is why I want the amulet equipped. And we get three Holy Waters. Yeah, Holy Water shears your zombie effect stats if you actually get afflicted by it, but whatever. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you get zombified, you're pretty much dead. And you turn against your own party. Really. Don't even try to heal, it doesn't work that much. Here we have a new enemy, Malboro. They are weak to fire, of course. And like any Final Fantasy game, they have bad breath, which inflicts multiple status effects on your party. If you're not careful. The Bad Breath is probably the worst freaking stats effect in the entire Final Fantasy series. Well, they're in pretty much every other Final Fantasy game, whatever. Yeah. A lot of bad memories find those guys. Jeez. Here we have another new enemy, Cloud Wraith. They are weak to Holy and Fire. Actually, now that you mention it, all the enemies here are pretty much weak to Fire and Holy. Except the Malboro, it's weak to Fire, that's pretty much it. Yeah, whatever. And of course, since it's undead, it, you know, absorbs poison. Much like every un other undead enemy. Three holy waters, that, that comes pretty useful, but whatever. So you want, want to take the north east door first, before heading off to the south. Now we want to head north, I mean southwest, down here for a treasure. If I can get through this battle, 
Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave his battle in since we got the preemptive strike and, well, we're like one step away from the treasure. Sheesh game. Flash always works best since it's not only elemental. Whatever. Good enough. Okay, what do you get? A Genji Helm. Let's give it to uh, Setzer because he's lacking in defense there. Yeah. Genji is definitely better than uh, Diamond and Crystal. And I have to reorganize my party here. Put Setzer a little bit more in lead. You know, since he's not really your magical caster in your party. Okay, now you want to take the Southwest door here. Don't take a south one yet because there's a treasure here, a crystal mail. Let's equip that to Celeste. Since she already has a crystal helm and you know, might as well just give her a crystal mail as well. Oh boy. Okay, head down the stairs here. Another treasure, let's pick it up. A regal gown. Or gown, my bad. Uh, you can't equip that to any of your party members right now, but whatever. Let's see now. Is it a body armor? I think so. You know what? Let's sort this out. I know for sure it's not a relic. Yeah, let's... An elegant dress, I think. Can you equip that to Celeste? Because I think you can equip it to ladies, I don't know. No, you can't. And of course, Sabrina can't wear it. And none other than the other males can wear it as well. Whatever. Okay, you want to click the switch here first to open the door there. Yeah, they kind of trick you there, you know, making you think, oh, you know what, you're not supposed to go down there first, but of course you're supposed to go down and open the switch first, or else you'd have to backtrack all the way there just to open the freaking door. Plus, the water level rises up, and I forgot to equip an Esper on Edgar and Setzer, so I'm just going to go for Ramu for Edgar and, and the Unicorn for, well, Setzer. Wait, did I say Setzer two times? Wow. Anyway, go back to where we were. I was one step away from the freaking door. What the hell, game? But whatever. Take a south door now. Yeah. You don't want to head up to the northwest door first. Hop on Franklin. Just press the A button like we did earlier in the South Lagarde Cave. And we're good to go. Don't press that switch yet. Go down here and observe the tombstones. Yeah, they each have letters in them. W E H T. Just check each and every one of them. Trust me now, this one, viewers. Check every one of them. Oh, jeez. Let's see. Did Edgar win a dead spell yet? No, he hasn't. Yeah, why am I equipping Ramu if I haven't learned death yet? But, whatever. Okay. What do we have here? Ural, or E R A U. Could see what? Whatever. Okay, so now we want to backtrack all the way back to the second basement floor. Familiar. Hop onto Franklin. Yeah. Wow, once again, right before I got to the door. What's with these random encounters? There's probably gonna be like millions of random encounters in this session, whatever. Yeah, you wanna go here now and pay attention to the order that I will put it in. So W-E-H-T-O-D-L-R-O -O. It spells up a message. Eureka C De La Ro Ut. If you actually read it backwards, it actually says the world is square. That's physically impossible, but oh well, it's a message, so yeah. This isn't mandatory, but this unlocks the area for the relic that you want to get in Daryl's tomb, but yeah. So just head back to where we were. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh, jeez. I hope so, because I don't exactly remember where it was. Raise the water level up there. Okay, whatever. Hop on to Franklin here. Franklin number two. <laughs> oh, well. Wait, hang on. I went the wrong way. Crap. Yeah. The relic that we're looking for is not over there. We have to backtrack all the way back to where we were. No, not down here. No, no, no. That's not where we had to go. That's where the tombstones are. 
Yeah, I just wasted like, who knows, two minutes looking for a relic and getting lost. Wow. Whatever, hop back to Franklin number one here. Once again, right before I get to the door. Very nice. Okay, so we're supposed to take the southwest door first, get all the way down here. One step away from going down the floor, wow. Man, what is with this recording session? But if you want to find the growth egg or the relic that you're looking for, we'll go all the way down here because there's a secret passage that you want to take and get this treasure. Here we get the growth egg, which I spoiled a couple mo moments ago. It's a really good relic because it doubles the amount of EXP you want to earn in battle, and I will be using that since, you know, I want more EXP points. I want, I want, I want to get stronger. Sorry for stuttering there, but let's put that on Celeste because, you know, I don't need the Hermes sandals anymore, whatever. And let's head back all the way up to where we were.